Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a drugstore fall makeup transformation using all products from e.l.f. Cosmetics. So we're gonna do a little skincare, a little makeup, and I wanna give a big thank you to e.l.f. Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. I'm always so incredibly thankful to work with a brand that I literally use in every single one of my videos, basically. Like I would say like 95% of my videos, I'm always talking about one or two products from e.l.f. because it truly is my favorite drugstore makeup brand. They're vegan, cruelty-free, they have so much variety, great prices, great quality, and they have a lot of really great dupes for a lot of popular high-end makeup like you literally cannot beat it I love their makeup their sponges their brushes they even have some skincare that I've been dabbling into recently so they pretty much have it all and in my opinion they are truly the best drugstore makeup brand so today's look is gonna be a little glam but not too crazy it's definitely wearable for every day but very simple to do of course so yeah we're just gonna get right into it definitely grab a snack and make sure you subscribe if you have not already for three new videos every single week and let's get into this look and transform this face so we're actually gonna start with skin skincare first and I have here the elf super skincare mini kit so these are actually really cute and I feel like trying out mini kits like this is a great way to test out new skincare so you don't have to commit to like full-size bottles because when you're testing out skincare you don't know how it's gonna be on your skin so I love these so I'm gonna start off with the super clarity cleanser this is really nice because it's really gentle on the skin but it foams so I think it's a great like everyday daytime cleanser I love these products also from what I did test out because they don't have a lot of fragrance in them like nothing crazy and then I I always love a good toner and this is the super tone I just applied that on my cotton pad and then put that all over my face and then after toning I just went in with these super bright and peel pads so these are really nice I feel like for morning if you want to just get that extra clean feeling on your skin or even at night when you're taking off your makeup I feel like these are great because they can remove any excess dirt makeup residue that you may have on your skin I always recommend double cleansing but I feel like these do a good job at removing any excess residue that may have been left behind so I really like these and again they're very gentle they're not stripping on the skin and then to moisturize I just went in with the super hydrate moisturizer this has hydrating squalene in it this was actually very nice it reminded me of a high-end moisturizer because it's a water-based moisturizer but it actually hydrates the skin absorbs really quickly and it's great under makeup so it's a good like daytime moisturizer so this was really nice the only thing that I did after that was just follow up with some SPF because that's always super important then I just moisturized my lips with my favorite elf ride or die lip balm and this one is the mighty mint one this is great before makeup especially before before bed also it's been like my go-to nighttime lip mask it's so good so skincare is all complete I usually like to let my skincare sit into my skin before I start my makeup for at least 20 to 30 minutes if I have time and I just want to head into my brows just to save some time because I pretty much do the same thing in every single makeup tutorial so we're just gonna jump right into the eyes so I'm just gonna start by priming my lids I'm gonna use the elf eyelid primer in the shade sheer which is one of my all-time favorites it's so affordable but it's so good and it's just like a simple eye primer Great with any palette, any eyeshadow that you use. Just makes them pop, last all day. And we're doing something really simple today, but I still wanna prime the lid so everything lasts all day. I'm actually gonna use, since I have longer nails, so I'm just gonna use a brush to blend that out. Okay, next I'm gonna apply some e.l.f. eye tapes, which you guys know I love. I have been using these for so long. They're literally the best for perfecting your eyeshadow, making it look nice and sharp and precise, or for winged liner if you struggle. Now, I've been getting better with my winged liner, if I do say so myself, so I don't use these as much for winged liner, but I love it for eyeshadow, just to make that area look nice and sharp. And I do cut mine in half, because then I feel like you can make your strips last longer, and you don't really need the full strip for your eye. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Bite Size Eyeshadows. This one's in the shade Truffle, and this is one of my favorite palettes. I love this because the black in here is everything. It's so black, so pigmented, clearly. I love this palette, I use it up a lot. And this is pretty much all we're gonna use for today's look. Really, really simple. So I'm actually gonna start off with the black in the palette. And I'm gonna use an e.l.f. J5 brush from the J Kissa brush kit, which I still love, I'm obsessed with these. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that black and I'm gonna do my liner as if it was like regular gel liner, and I'm just gonna do a wing with it. So if you struggle with doing your winged liner, try this method with eyeshadow, because it's so much easier, it's so much softer, and I feel like it looks a little bit more flattering and just a little bit less harsh versus regular eyeliner so I love doing this and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna smudge it out anyway but just follow along with the tape and it's gonna look perfect regardless you'll see and you could do this with brown eyeshadow as well I like the black though because you know it's fall we can be a little smoky Thank you. 
that's pretty much it. So you could totally leave it like this, but one of my favorite things to do is smoke this out and make it really like smoky. Totally optional, don't have to do this, but again, I feel like it just adds to that sultry kind of vibe. So I'm gonna go in with this brown color and I'm gonna mix it in with a little bit of this chocolate brown. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start smudging out that black eyeshadow that we just did. And then I'm gonna use a fluffier brush to kind of blend out the lid area a little bit because it's a little bit bigger. This is the J2 brush. You can add a little bit more black as you go. It's all about just preference and what you like. Because again, you could do this with a brown eyeshadow as well if you don't want as much black. So of course we're gonna do the same thing to the other eye. This works really well with a gel liner as well, but I feel like it's a little bit easier to work with when you're using eyeshadow because it just blends more seamlessly. And there's always one eye that looks better than the other, but it's fine. And I always kind of like to feel it out, look at different angles of like how it looks and maybe I'll add a little bit more black. That's why I like to use a mirror like super up close and then I have one kind of far away from me as well so I can kind of see how dark it looks. And if needed, I just kind of add product as I go. But I think this is pretty much it. This is very satisfying. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I am hitting pan on the black right there. I told you I use this all the time. I also even use this in my hair sometimes for like any bald spots that I have whenever I have like my hair styled and it's literally the best drugstore black eyeshadow. So now the big reveal, we take off the eye tapes. Perfect. Yes, you might just have to clean up a little bit like around where the tapes were, but like you can just see how precise that looks. So see, we got some wings going on, but it's literally just eyeshadow and it's, I feel like so easy to do. All you have to do is just really take your time and just blend it, but like with the tapes, it makes it so simple. So I'm just gonna do a quick coat of mascara, pop on some lashes, and you guys already know. Elf Foaming Lashes Indie Style Drama Queen. I cannot, still cannot stop using them. I can't say enough good things about these. I feel like they're just like the perfect everyday lash, whether you're doing natural glam, soft glam like today, or even more bold, dramatic glam. These are perfection. They're nice and wispy. They're not super long, but I feel like they have the perfect amount of volume, length, and drama to them. Every time I put these on, I'm just like, wow, these are it. Okay, so lashes are on. Eyes are pretty much all done, and I love the way this turned out. This is definitely like a classic look for me that I feel like anybody can rock and it's super easy to achieve. So now we're gonna get into the skin. So I'm gonna start with primer. I'm actually gonna do a little primer water first. So I'm gonna go in with the Soothing Facial Oil Mist. I've really been enjoying this. It's super hydrating and it gives your skin that little extra boost right before makeup. You can even use this throughout the day to refresh your makeup as well. I have this other one here that I really like the restoring, but the Soothing is by far my favorite. It's just like the clear bottle, so. I'm gonna spray my face. I'm gonna cover my eyes just because I don't want any of my shadow to get ruined, especially because everything that I used is matte. Then to prime, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer, which is another favorite. I love this because it really makes your makeup last all day. It smells really good. Just a good formula. It leaves kind of like a tacky base, which is great because then your makeup will adhere and literally last all day. So I'm gonna kind of rub and then press it in. For foundation today, I'm gonna to use the Flawless Finish Foundation because I want some really good coverage, especially with this look today. And I feel like this is great for every day because it has great coverage, lasts all day, but it doesn't get kicky on the skin. And the packaging is super cute as well. So mine is in the shade Linen and it comes with the pump, which we love. And of course, I'm gonna use the Total Face Sponge. This is probably the best drugstore sponge too because it's so bouncy but it doesn't absorb any of your products so you still get that really nice coverage. Such a pretty foundation. Someone has been mowing their lawn what feels like for like the past two hours so I wonder if you can hear that. It's like really loud, it's my neighbor. now you have to do that but then I'm like why wouldn't he do that Jasmine like it's nine o'clock in the morning like nobody else is filming videos right now so of course he's gonna do that I have a little extra foundation on the back of my hand so I'm gonna use that to cover up these little scars that I have 
from some previous breakouts. I'm the worst with breakouts because I don't ever let them like sit on my skin. Like I pick at them and it's like such a bad habit because then I end up getting scars, of course. So definitely don't recommend doing that. For concealer, my absolute favorite is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I have mine in the shade Medium Peach. This is actually a brand new one. I went through one of these like completely, which is a big deal. It's just so good. It's great coverage. And I feel like when you first apply it, it's cooling and it's nice and hydrating. I just, I love it. It's so good. I'm gonna do about that much because today we got some glam going on so we're gonna do a little extra and then I'm gonna use the concealer sponge just to blend everything out I love this sponge because it fits perfectly right under the eyes and it just makes the concealer melt into the skin Then for powder, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, another like holy grail powder of mine. This one's in the shade Light. I've been using this since it's first launched, I think back in January, and honestly, I haven't put it down since. So I'm in the shade Light. They have a bunch of other colors as well. It just gives your under eyes and your face this really healthy sheen to the skin. There's no glitter in this powder. It's just so pretty. Like the way it just makes your skin look so airbrushed, but with a little bit of a glow at the same time is like perfection. So I use this under my eyes and pretty much to set all over over my face and then I'm just gonna use a larger brush just to apply the rest of the powder to the rest of my face okay now bronzer so I'm actually gonna do a little mixture of two so I love their primer infused bronzers they're super smooth they're matte and it's a really nice formula so I'm actually gonna use the shade forever sun kiss which is more of a little bit of like a natural cool tone color I'm like trying to get this open my nails there we go it's a warm tone bronzer with a little bit of a cool tone to it so it's perfect for contouring the nose so I'm gonna use this for my nose and then I'm gonna use the shade perpetually tan just to bronze the skin this is much warmer but I love them both I'm just gonna do a little concoction which I do very often I always mix my products love it it's so good the formula I'm actually just mixing both of the colors you wanna get up in the hairline. Now I'm just gonna take that bronzer and just run that right down the sides of the nose. So the nose is not just kind of like sitting there, you know, like we wanna add a little something to it. Then for blush, I mentioned these in my favorites video, but I am loving the Bite Size Face Duos. These are just as good as the Eye Duos. They're super affordable. You get a little blush and a highlighter, and I think they're perfect for every day. So I love also how they have a bunch of colors. White Peach, which is this one, and Spiced Apple are my two favorites. But today I'm gonna to use White Peach. I feel like it's just a perfect everyday peachy color, and I love the highlighter in here as well, it's super smooth gives you the perfect glow without emphasizing texture or being too glittery on the cheeks so this little duo here is everything and don't be fooled like okay these are affordable but they actually last like all day on the skin like I love these it's literally so smooth look at that glow so pretty I'm gonna do the lips really quick and then we will finish off the eyes. So I'm using the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Lip Kit, which you guys know is my favorite. <laughs> Everything's my favorite, okay? But for real, this lip kit, it's still available and it's still $10. So I'm gonna use the shades Nude 02 and Nude 03. They're both like brown wooden lip pencils and it's a great formula. I'm actually gonna start off with the darker brown, which is Nude 03, which is a great fall cool tone, wearable, like 90s brown, it's perfect. And then I'm gonna take Nude 02 to kind of feather in that other color and give myself like a kind of natural ombre lip. And then I'm gonna go in with the Elf Sheer Slick Lipsticks. These are actually a newer discovery for me. I tested these out in like a drugstore video, I believe a few weeks back, and these are actually really, really good. It's like a sheer wash of color on the lips, but you can build it up to get it to be a little bit more vibrant. And I love the shade Golden Pear. I feel like it's just a great everyday fall color. Okay, we're almost finished with the look. I'm just gonna do the lower lashes and then of course set the makeup and we'll be all done. Going back into the Truffle Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette, I'm gonna go in with the color right 
here, the chocolate brown. And I'm gonna be applying that and smudging it out on the lower lash line, and that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. And to do this, I'm using the eyeshadow C brush, which is really good because it's kind of stiff and a little bit fluffy, so I feel like it kind of blends out the product for you. Like, you don't have to do a lot to get this to look blended. And then just for a little pop, I'm just gonna go into the highlighter color that I was using. Let me actually spray the brush. And I'm just gonna put that right in the inner corners, just for a light little subtle pop. And then I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Black Gel Liner. This is super black and long wearing, and I'm just gonna apply that actually on my waterline. And of course, we can never forget setting spray. So I'm gonna use the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist, which I really love. And I'm also gonna add, just because I'm extra like that, a little bit of the Dewy Coconut Mist. So this is my favorite spray. They just changed the packaging. And these are both really good. The spritzers are really nice. And I'm gonna shake it up and spray the face. I am getting all the fall vibes from this look. I love everything. Like I love the lip combo and then with the really simple smoky eyes, I feel like it looks more complicated than what it is, but I hope you guys try it out because it's so easy and I feel like it's the perfect glam everyday look for fall. So I of course will link everything that I used down below, makeup tools, beauty sponges, makeup, everything. So make sure to check that out if you guys wanna shop and try out these amazing products. And that is officially it. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm sending you lots of love, virtual hugs, and thank you once again to Elle for working with me in today's video. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye!